Really pleasure to have actor Richard Thomas on the screen with us this morning. And Richard, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for inviting me. It's good to be with you. It, really, seriously, just a, it's a fanboy dream right here. Uh, we got to ask, I mean, obviously, we're going to be talking about the show that you're going to be doing at the Performing Arts Center. But let's start back from the really beginning here for you. Where did your love for theater and acting begin? Well, you, go, you know, I mean, I'm a I'm a I'm a cradle showbiz person. I was, my parents were ballet dancers. I was raised backstage from the time I was a baby. And, you know, the theater was always a, a second home. And I started acting. I got on stage when I was six, almost seven years old and started working. And then when I turned seven, I did my first Broadway show. And so it's just been one thing after another. I mean, my, 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 my actors' equity union card is 65 years old. Last October, <laughs> so it's, it's been a long, it's been a long road. <laughs> Seven years old, and he's on Broadway stage. There you go. Uh, for many, obviously, people know you as John Boy from the Waltons, but you've obviously done so much else as well. Uh, and I've seen and heard that contemporaries call you like a working actor. What what draws you to a role like this one in To Kill a Mockingbird? Well, you know, I don't have a plan. <laughs> I just, you know, I've 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 just let the roles come as they come. I've been very lucky. They just they they they've just been coming for a long time. So I'm a very I'm a lucky actor. But in this particular story, uh, I, I was aware that they were doing that they were developing the production that that uh, Bart Shear and and. Um, uh, Aaron had adapted it. Jeff was going to do it, and I and I thought, yeah, well, this is going to tour for sure if it does well. And I, you know, and I'm I love the I love to tour. I think it's a wonderful part of a theater actor's life. Uh, not everybody enjoys it, but for those of us who do, it's a very special thing. And so I thought, well, this show is going to tour, and I cannot think of a play that I would rather take around the country right now, or a story that I would rather be telling than this one. So. Uh, the invitation came, and um, I jumped at it because I was very excited about it. And, and I like doing plays on the road. I like taking plays out. You know, people just see almost exclusively musicals now, um, and uh, it's 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 wonderful to to get a play back on the road that's doing well. And it's it's a classic book. Many people have you know were reading it when they were in school, uh, yeah. and 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 this is. I say a little different from the book because Aaron Sorkin has adapted it. Um, mm -hmm. What's how do you like the differences between the the written material and what you're performing on stage? I love the differences. I, you know, without in any way betraying Harper Lee's story or her the spirit of her novel or the time and the place, he's really in his sort of magical way. Um, brought the perspective on the issues of the story forward really to our time. I, it's hard to explain how to do that, how he's done that, unless you see the play. But uh, the first thing he did, which was so brilliant, was to just take Atticus off the pedestal and, and make him a far more flawed and vulnerable person who goes through a story of disillusionment and loss of innocence that parallels the kids. So, so that he, rather than a sort of a sort of perfected father and and noble guy uh, that we should all admire and look up to, although we should, because you should always be grateful for anybody who's trying to do the right thing under terrible circumstances, right? Um, he's made him a much more, I think, approachable uh, and a much more vulnerable character who has a lot to learn. And so, so it's a great journey for the actor. And he's given him a sense of humor, which is like just like such a gift because he's a very funny writer. Right. And the play itself is very, very funny as well as being very dramatic and serious. He's also really enriched the roles of Calpurnia and Tom Robinson, much more so than either in the novel or the, or the film. I'm sorry about this dinging. Um, much more so than in the um, in the novel or the or the film, uh, and he's cre and, and so that the black characters have, have have a much more powerful presence in the play, and I think that's really important. He's also done this great magic trick of of writing the characters of the children to be played by young adults who mm -hmm. are both being children in the story and remembering the story as adults. It's a beautiful theatrical convention he's created. It's just a joy to play. It's a wonderful piece of writing. 
I got the chance to see it on Broadway, and I can't wait to see it here when you come to Evans. And this is an actor's question now. You're on stage. You've been on screen. You've toured. Which one do you like the best? Well, I, I mean, I love it all, and I've, I've been lucky that I've been able to do it all my whole life. I, I would have to honestly say that the theater is, is for me, the, the home base for me as an actor. Um, and I, it gives me a deeper pleasure than anything else. And it's, you know, it's wonderful to play. I mean, I'll, I'll be doing my 15th Broadway play this fall. Um, and I played in L.A., I played around the country, and that's deeply satisfying, but getting out on the road and taking a play to different communities around the country and experiencing the country and, and, and these communities that are so proud of their theaters and are so supportive of theater, you realize that theater as an institution does not just exist on both coasts in Chicago, it's all across the country. That's very satisfying. So, and I'm excited to get to Evans. I've never been. Well, we are excited to have you. We can't wait. To... Southern audiences are great, too. We love the audiences in the South. They're warm and friendly and fun, and it's really, we're really looking forward to it. I guarantee you a warm welcome. Again, it's going to be April 30th and May 1st at the Columbia County Performing Arts Center. Richard Thomas in To Kill a Mockingbird. You can get your tickets at thecenterofcc.com or at ticketmaster.com as well. Sir, an absolute pleasure to talk with you. We appreciate the time. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. We're looking forward to it.